What's up everybody? James here, your favorite nomadic urban survivor. And today we have an unboxing. This here is a camping set out of doors. I bought it on Amazon. It is a 12 piece camping cookware, uh, cook with cook set, whatever it is. We got a spoon and dish cloth and a whole bunch of other crap. I'll uh, open this up here and dig it out. I got this off of Amazon. I'll post a link in the description down below. And uh, let's get this baby out of the box, show you what all it consists of. And then I'm going to get to making me some lunch. Because after all, not only is this an unboxing, there's a demo. So, give me a minute. Open it up here. I've actually taken this out just to see what was in it and to show it to a couple of people. But first off, it comes with this handy little net bag so you can keep everything together and organized. Take it out of the bag. You'll see that it consists of two pots. And each pot has the little handle system set up on it. See this one has it as well. But inside the pots you will have this cloth. Okay, don't come in handy. This is a non-stick surface here inside. See it's got all the good stuff. Set that off to the side. Actually I'm gonna put it in the box so it doesn't blow away. That little orange box I'll get back to in a minute. Comes with a handy dandy locking carabiner. You just put on your net bag. That'll come in handy. Comes with a wine key. I do drink wine, but wine's not my most go-to thing. I'm a pothead, so That'll come in handy, just not in this set. I don't see me ever using this in the woods unless I got a honey with me. And if I'm taking a honey to the woods, well, I'm not gonna be drinking wine. I hope. All right. This little handy dandy orange triangle thing here, I'm gonna set this down for a minute. This is really, really cool because this folds out like this and these legs lock in place and that you'll see has little grooves on all three arms geese behind me they don't they do not approve of me shooting videos if it was in season I'd be cooking duck or not duck but Canadian goose but this goes on this like this beautiful thing about this it's actually let me take this back off of here it has two sizes that it'll fit on the notches uh, work on getting that back on there and I'll show you what this is for in a minute right now I'm just gonna set that out of my way next in the kit is the little black pouch nice thing about this little black pouch you open it up you dump it out and you will see nice well okay that didn't work technical difficulties drop it but knife got a little locking mechanism here you slide it up lock your knife in place so it doesn't go nowhere the spoon and the fork both do the same thing they lock open they 
fold and then lock open. The nice thing about these, hold on, I'm dropping little pieces of plastic. Because like I said, all I did was open it up to see what was in it. But these are metal. Comes in really handy. They're not as light as the plastic ones. Definitely not titanium, but these are really cool to have in your cooking set. Although, I'm going to set them off to the side because I apparently don't need them at the moment. Although I do think it's ironic they give you metal spoons, a metal fork, and a metal knife when your bowl or when your two pots are nonstick. You never use a metal in a nonstick pan. But this right here, with the exception of the two pots and the tripod, is the whole reason I bought the kit. This thing here, I pop it out, and you can see, close that up. That is your stove. A little handy dandy stove here. Legs will flip out here on your burners. You got your uh, on and off nozzle here. Also, this little red button here, you see at the top, comes up. That is the piezo ignition system, I believe is what it's called. Really cool thing is, I don't know if I can do it, but it'll show up. See where we're at. Turn it around. Alright, see if I can get it. It throws the spark. Or something. I'm not going to be able to get it to do that, but the little clicking sound, just like the lighters, they uh, make a lot of noise. It throws an electronic spark to start your your uh, stove. So now, take this, this little cap, I'm going to save, I'll use it later, but these the gas I'm using is a uh, Primus Power Gas. This is their four season blend. With, uh, or it says a four season mix. And uh, see, let's get the end. This is uh, extremely flammable gas, under pressure, protect from direct sunlight, do not expose to high temperatures, do not refill. <laughs> And uh, geese are still having a problem with me being here, evidently. Oh well, they can get over it. But essentially, this screws on to this. And it says to avoid cross threading. Hopefully I don't cross thread this. Uh, and this is all new to me. I've never used one of these little pocket stoves before. But the Scottish Wanderer, old Stuart, and uh, the Scottish Wanderer uses this, and this is, uh, I've seen it used on several other videos, but the Scottish Wanderer is actually the reason why I went out and uh, started looking for one of these, because I don't even remember what video he was using, or what he was doing. He was somewhere... There it goes. You want to do that hand tight. Spin my burners back around. And then we're going to set this right here. Next thing we are going to do, find us a spot that's fairly level because these rocks aren't completely level. But I'm hoping it'll 
it'll burn a little bit. Actually, I gotta move the camera, I think, to a different location. I'm looking for something that is uh, a little more stable. And uh, see where I'm at here. May have to readjust the camera. Uh, first and foremost, I gotta pick up some dog food that gun just spit on the floor. Ugh, I'm still here off camera. Ugh, I just gotta move a couple things. I sat down for Gonja earlier. He deserves to eat too. Ugh. All right. Now, I'm, uh, I had to walk off camera for a minute, sorry. Moving stuff around. But, I, uh, I'm gonna make me a small bite to eat. All right, so, we're back. Did you miss me? Evidently not. I know you didn't miss me because there wasn't no beer and there wasn't no joint waiting on me when I got back. So, you people are all fired. <laughs> I apologize in advance. I should have done this at the start of the video. I uh, have a lapel mic or a lavalier mic. It'll attach to my phone and it'll clip right here and you'll be able to hear me a lot better. But first and foremost, let's uh, see if we can get this thing going. Turn down the flame there a little bit. We don't need it quite that high. And uh, today, I'm just going to be cooking a little bit of hot dogs. Here, i got some hot dogs. And I got me one of these little cup of soup thingies here. So, that being said, let's get a few things cooking. Your EDC. Most important tool you'll ever carry in your pocket, next to a multi-tool. I don't carry a multi-tool because, well, I use my knife for pretty much everything. So, back up, not for dog. Uh, uh, see here, throw me a couple of these hot dogs in here. Throw me in some water into the pan here. Then, uh, gonna need a little bit more water than that. Damn it, get on there. And here we go. I, uh, actually ordered a windscreen for this as well. It'll be here probably the same time the lavalier mic will be here. I know I keep leaning into the camera, I keep trying to be heard, but then uh, throw that one in there, still got some heat coming off of there, and uh, here in a minute I'm going to drop the camera down so it's in a different position. Ah. And, uh, be dropping this down I'll be off camera for a minute I know this video is running a little bit long longer than I actually planned damn it that wasn't supposed to work uh, uh, all right still adjusting the tripod here but it is uh, about a minute ago I put that on there I have uh, 1235 I don't know if you can see that on my watch. Probably not, even though it's upside down. But, uh, I'm gonna pick this up, drop a couple of legs real quick. 
and uh, hopefully we can get a view on this here cooking. And while this is cooking, I'm gonna take a moment here, as you can all see, my soup. I'm gonna give this a couple minutes. We'll check back here in a little bit. In the meantime, I'm uh, do me one of these little cup of soup thingies, and I'm gonna dice me up a mushroom or two to put in there. mushroom snow cap I always pop the stem out I eat the stems stems are worthless when you're cooking EDC ideally I should be doing this on a cutting board but well <clears throat> I don't currently have one, so and I know that's not really much of an excuse, but that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So. These ideally, I probably should have sauteed up. Got the moisture content out of them, but oh well. Fuck them if they can't take a joke, right? So. have that turned up very hot. That water's already starting to get hot. It's uh, only been about four minutes. I am gonna throw a little more heat, I think, on the flame. Mm -hmm. I hope that's what it did. I uh, think I mentioned previously I did order a windscreen for this. It'll be here probably in a week. But now we're just playing the weight game because food only cooks as fast as food wants to cook. So Take a moment here, flip it around. Hopefully this will be done cooking in a minute or two. The water was already starting to get hot, so. Uh, we will see how it goes. Although the big old spoon, when I was buying stuff, 
I was actually looking for a minute rice or instant rice. Didn't find it. So I uh, don't really need that because I'll be eating out of this one. And the hot dogs I'll be eating on the buns here. So not really worried. Major League. But although you'll see over yonder right there that is some idiot's fucking trash so I'll grab that when I leave and ain't mine I can't stand idiots that want to fucking trash our wild areas and this really isn't that big of a wild area but it uh is a fairly nice area to hang out and shoot videos so Yeah, so I'm uh, unfortunately playing the weight game. I need to get a video camera that I can stop and start and not ruin the video. If I wait too long on the pause on this camera, it'll shut my video off. So I definitely will say one thing, a, uh, a windscreen here would have definitely been a lot better to have at the top, something that's a little more level to set it on would have been even better, but So, <coughs> since I am waiting and I got plenty of water, I'm going to sit here and uh, shit, miss my mouth. Having fun, having fun. Can't wait till the fun is over. Sitting here waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting some more because that's what you do when you're waiting on your food to cook. So, wow, this video ran a lot longer than I had planned. So, although I'm going to try and find me, I just bought me a Chromebook. So I'm going to break down and try and find some uh, editing program for it. And uh, we will go from there. But let's see how our water is doing. Oh yeah. That water is definitely hot. And uh... Should be boiling here in a few minutes. So, put the lid back on. The nice thing about that second pot here, it acts like a lid. So, I've got 12.40 now on the watch. So, it's been about nine minutes. We'll give it a few more minutes, see how it's going. At this point in time, I'd like my hot dogs to be warm enough to eat so they taste like something but I also need the water to be hot enough to make the uh, soup taste good so
and uh, do a little hand signs here. Somebody running across the street. I don't know, I'm just being stupid now. Ah. <laughs> but, all right, we got some bubbles starting to roll up the sides there. Coming up here in the middle. So, I'm going to say in about another three or four minutes, this will be done. I'm just going to hang out here and wait. And, uh, Ain't much else we can do. So, yeah, we're just gonna hang out here and be cool. Because, well, that's what I do. And this would actually have boiled the water a lot faster if A, there was nothing in the water. I put hot dogs in it. And B, if I had a windshield, you can see how the hot dog bun here is blowing up. That's because the wind is blowing from that direction. I could have put it on the ground underneath, behind this wall, but I probably, probably won't drop down that far. So, oh, oh excuse me. Took the water. So. Yep. Still working. You can see the water is uh, trying to boil. This wind ain't helping me none. But I'm uh, actually going to go ahead and shut this off now. Because A, I'm hungry and I'm tired of waiting. And B, well, because I'm hungry and I'm tired of waiting. Turn the flame off the right way. So it uh about 13 minutes or so after I put it on, I didn't let the water come completely to a boil. You know, like I said, the water didn't get to a rolling boil. It came to a nice hot simmer. All I'm really trying to do is heat my hot dogs up and heat up the soup. So. I got two more videos I got to go film, and this is coming up on a half hour. So let's get going with what we're doing. Ugh. Set them off to the side. Grab a hot dog bun. Or two. Mostly because that's what I grab. But stir this up here a little bit. Ironic thing is, use hot dog water to make chicken noodle soup. That's really messed up, ain't it? But, yeah, that's what you do when you're me. With this, I'm going to move out of the sun. Let it cool off. Get it ready to go. And, uh, Take me a bun. Take me a hot dog. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do a product demonstration. Mmm. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Be safe, happy trails, and I will see you down the road. Peace.